welcome to the very first episode of Allison Eats. So basically, this will just be a series of cook with me videos that I post every other Sunday morning and I just hope to provide some healthy and easy meal inspiration and I'll just be sharing my favorite recipes for lunch or dinner, maybe even breakfast sometimes, who knows? And I'm kicking off this series with one of my all-time favorite recipes and meals and that is a Buddha bowl. I love this recipe and think it is perfect to kick things off with because it is so incredibly easy and you can customize it to fit your flavor profiles and your taste buds. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. I wanted to read you the definition of what a Buddha bowl is just in case you've never heard of it before. So a Buddha bowl is a vegetarian meal served on a single bowl or high rimmed plate, which consists of small portions of several foods served cold. This would be a really great meal idea to take in your lunchbox for work or school or college, wherever you are in life or a yummy meal to meal prep at the beginning of the week and then you can have it for dinner throughout the week. So I really hope you guys love it and let's get into it. So for this recipe, you'll need garlic powder, onion powder, some chili lime seasoning, oregano, a red onion, avocado, sweet potato, lemon, green pepper, naan bread, cherry tomatoes, spinach, plain Greek yogurt, garbanzo beans, hummus, and quinoa. I'll list all the ingredients down below, and of course you can use whatever spices you prefer. You really are able to customize this recipe, which is one of the reasons why I love it. Okay guys, so I have all my ingredients in front of me, and I like to pair my beautifuls with some naan bread and a yogurt sauce just to make it a little more fun and exciting because this is a very healthy, healthy meal. So for me as a bread lover and carb lover, this just adds a whole nother level of yumminess for me. So I love that. And the first step is to just, basically the only step is to just throw everything together. So I chopped my onion already and I'm just going to add that to my spinach bowl and again you really are just gonna eyeball this and do what feels good for you and what sounds good for you and in your body but I like to put personally I like to put a nice big spoonful of quinoa and that'll help us get our greens and I've just been keeping a container of cooked quinoa in our fridge so that it's just super easily accessible and makes this meal that much easier to create and even if i don't make an actual buddha bowl i would love to have salads with quinoa makes it more filling okay and then i'm going to add my onions i added some already but i'm gonna add a little bit more and the only two things that i actually cook for this recipe is my sweet potato and my garbanzo beans because I love them crunchy. So for my sweet potato, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to slice it into little round slices and put some olive oil and sea salt and pepper on it and throw it in my air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, that's totally fine. You can pop it in the oven or if you wanna just skip the sweet potato if it's too difficult. You can just cook the chickpeas on a skillet with some olive oil and sea salt and they'll get nice and nice and crunchy. But for me, I just absolutely love my air fryer so much and it just makes cooking so much more efficient. So I'm gonna cook those two things real quick and while it's cooking, we can assemble everything else. These are my sweet potatoes and I, I just cook them together but I just kind of separate them. My air fryer came with a little separating wall that you can attach but I mean it's not that fancy. No need to be that particular. Um, and then we like our garbanzo beans so I usually put quite a bit. Okay that looks good to me. And it's totally okay if they're like on the same side, but 
because I end up shaking it up anyways, but for now, I'll just leave them a little separated. And then I keep my olive oil in this spray bottle, just a little life hack for you guys. It just helps make everything easier instead of pouring it. I don't think this is the best spray bottle for olive oil, but hey, it works. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle some sea salt and black pepper on top. And then for cooking settings, I put it at 400, because I, again, love to be efficient. And then I cook it for about eight minutes, and I'll check it and see if it needs more time. Also, I, I'll link my exact air fryer below in case you're interested in it. Again, I really love it. It's essentially like a small oven, so anything you can cook in the oven, you can pretty much cook in the air fryer if it will fit. People even tell me that they love to bake cakes in it and all that good stuff, so it's really interesting. Such a good invention, and again, the biggest reason why I love it is because it makes things super crispy on all sides, and it's so, so fast. Okay, so while those are getting nice and crispy, we'll add everything else in. So I'll just add a little bit of green bell peppers. You can use whatever peppers you want or use no peppers. It really just depends on what you prefer. Then I need to cut up some of these tomatoes. You don't have to cut them, but I like them in little smaller pieces. And I love these tri-color tomatoes. I just love when my food looks so colorful. And I do love the taste of the yellow ones. I'm sure they like barely even taste differently to most people, but maybe it's just in my head. I think it tastes different. Just like that, our garbanzo beans and sweet potatoes are cooked. So I'm gonna let them cool for just a few minutes. And while those are cooling, we can make our yogurt sauce. So if you're vegan, you can make vegan yogurt sauce, but I'm not, and I just use this organic Greek yogurt in the plain. Make sure you get the plain flavor because you don't want vanilla yogurt on your Buddha bowl. And we use this as a substitute for sour cream and literally it tastes almost exactly the same and it's healthier, so why not? So I just take about that much yogurt and then I just add some of my favorite spices to it. So these are just a few of my basics and I'm going to sprinkle these on top of my Buddha bowl at the end as well. So, oh my. <laughs> these are my most frequently used spices of course salt and pepper are just a staple but then we have this chili and lime one from Trader Joe's which I think is so delicious but it's just a combination of sea salt chili pepper red chili pepper lime juice powder citric acid and rice concentrate which I don't know what that is but hopefully it's okay and then we have cayenne pepper if you don't like spicy food you can just skip this one and then garlic powder onion powder, oregano leaves, Ugh, I love oregano, and that's it. Okay, so for the yogurt sauce, I am going to add some onion powder, just a couple sprinkles, and then garlic powder, cayenne pepper. I love spicy, so we're just gonna do like a lot of that. <laughs> and then some chili and lime seasoning. And then some pepper. Mix them all together. Okay, so I'm just topping it off with my favorite seasonings. It's already so flavorful, but I am a spice obsessed gal. So the more the merrier in my book. And then we're gonna squeeze some lemon and then add your yogurt sauce. I just add a scoop at first and then I add more like once because the bowl's so full. So once I get closer to the bottom, I add more, but there we go. That's your bootable.
done you have your beautiful buddha bowl that's so healthy and packed with nutrients and very filling and for the non bread i like to heat mine up because i love warm non bread so i just pop it in my air fryer for like a minute on 300 degrees and it just gets nice and warm and soft and i also like to use my yogurt dip as a little dip for the non bread and sometimes i'll kind of make like a non bread buddha bowl taco and i'll tear a piece off and then add some buddha bowl in it and take a bite out of that super super yummy and i hope you guys love this recipe as much as i do if you end up making it feel free to tag me in your stories your posts anything like that i would love to see you guys recreating this and of course i did not invent the buddha bowl it's really just like whatever you want to make it so just wanted to say that as a disclaimer that i'm not the brains behind the buddha bowl but i wanted to share my personal variation of it but thank you guys so much for watching my first allison eats i'm so excited to continue doing this and hope you all enjoy it and I'll see you super soon. Bye.